Hi, welcome back to Miller's Menu. Today we are going to be making a smoked meatloaf. Um, we really love it with the family. Um, it's another great way to take, to add up a little bit of extra punch to your normal meatloaf and to smoke it in your smoker. Today we're gonna be smoking it on my Pit Boss smoker. Um, we actually just recently got this because my other smoker died, so not a bad trade up though. Um, we are gonna be using pecan wood on this and we're gonna be doing it at about 300 degrees today. And it's just gonna be kind of like your normal meatloaf with just a little bit of extra kick. So the ingredients today for the smoked meatloaf, we are going to use three pounds of beef. It can be whatever you want. I definitely prefer the 73% lean, 23% fat, because you do want that extra moisture in there since we're gonna be doing it on the smoker. I've also got queso fresco cheese that we're gonna mix in, some white onions. We also have some of our favorite barbecue sauce that we use some Old Bay seasoning to just give it some extra added flavor in there, some garlic powder, and Jiffy cornbread mix. I like this, a lot of people use panko or breadcrumbs or I've even seen crackers and all this. I love the cornbread mix in it. I just think it gives an additional great flavor and helps hold it all together really well. And of course, just some Pam to spray around on your pan to keep it from sticking. So let's get started. Chase her around the swing set. I called her names cause I didn't have the courage yet. All I wanted in my world was for her to be my girl. She had me chasing with my heart racing. Down by the water She took my hand And looked me in the eyes And made me promise On that moonlit summer night Alright, now that we've all got put it together I like doing it in two individual Meat loaves on here The reason I did that is I like that it gives it more smoke flavor Throughout the meat um, If you do it in one big one Obviously the smoke doesn't usually get all the way in And of course it takes a lot more time to cook we don't want to wait forever for dinner, so it saves us on cooking time by separating it. With meatloaf, you want to get to an internal temp about 160, 165, depending on you. So we're going to cook it at 300 because with smoking, you want to do it a lower and slower temp. This is definitely higher than I normally do compared to like smoking a pork or something long term. I just want to get a little bit of smoke to this. So we're going to do it at 300. Depending on how long it takes today, especially with some of the rain that we're having and everything, sometimes it could take a little longer, but I average probably about an hour or so. So we'll just find out. We go to the temp, we don't go to the time. So here we go. One hour later. Okay, meatloaf's all done. We just pulled it off the smoker. I am excited to dig into this. It's a nice, cold, rainy fall night. So this is perfect comfort food with some mashed potatoes, some bread and everything. So I'm just gonna dig in and grab me a little slice here. I'm not even gonna worry about putting it on plate. I'm just digging right in. Mmm, that is so good. 
you got the amazing barbecue sauce you got the great flavor of the meatloaf the smoke the onions everything it's absolutely amazing i hope you all enjoy this as much as we do and have a great night